Hey guys, here we are in Calder's Point. About 40 minutes from Cherry Springs. We're at the Sheets right now, halfway in between. And then um, what we'll do is we'll uh, hit up hit you guys up again once we get on Cherry Springs Road, which leads you up to the state park. And every time we've been up there, this one spot, uh, satellite radio Jeep and GPS kick out every time. It's kind of weird. It's sort of like the Bermuda Triangle, if you will, of Cherry Springs Road. The other weird part is we've noticed that um, when we're on the way up, if we're talking, having a normal conversation with another person in the car, all of a sudden you will go silent for about 10 minutes, and then I'll say, "Hey, are you okay?" And then the, the and then the other person will answer you again. Uh, so that's one thing to keep in mind while you follow other people. So when you're going up there, just keep in mind that dead spot. And so far, three nights in a row, it's happened. And we'll see if it happens again on the way up. So we'll see you on the road. Yep. So here we are, guys. So right at the Calder's Point Golf Club, as you saw, uh, I don't know if you saw on the left-hand side right there, but satellite radio has started to kick out a little bit again, and the nav, uh, building navigation, goes a little bit haywire right around this point too. Past two nights when we came up, we also noticed that all of a sudden we'll get really quiet going along this road. Now this is PA 44 South uh, that leads you up to Cherry Springs State Park. 44 South will be off right of uh, US 6, which is one of the major roads uh, that run through Cowder's Point where we just were by the sheets. There's a lot of good stuff on US 6. Uh, the Mill Stream Inn, if you're looking for more of a hotel to stay at, that looked really nice when we drove by that. Um, and if you're looking for any kind of food, they have a McDonald's up there, there's a Chinese restaurant, there, uh, the sheets of course, like I said earlier, was like a super Wawa. And right now we're about eight miles up until we get to Cherry Springs Park itself. So once you're going along 44 South here, you'll notice a blue mailbox on the right hand side. That's about the halfway point from, well, sorry, see it just happened. Uh, that's about the halfway point from 44 South up until Cherry Springs. And that's where you'll start to that's when you'll start to get close to the park and see here's a mailbox right here. So this is a mailbox you'll look for and right now we're 7.9 miles away. And the radio just cut out. So this is the third night in a row where we've lost our train of thought, my ears are popping, and the satellite XM has cut out. It's the strangest thing, and that's why I say when you're going, make sure you're traveling with somebody. And that wasn't scripted. I honestly just lost my train of thought all of a sudden. So at that point at the Blue Mailbox, you're about seven and a half miles up. And then after that, we'll see you at Cherry Springs. We finally made it to Cherry Springs. We are the only ones on the field right now, as you could imagine. In the first week and a half of November, there's nothing at all going on right here. So this is the Astro Haven, I believe it's 15 foot sky dome that we rented. The cool thing with the Astro Haven is that there's uh, two other ones down on the other side of the field here and we have number three. Uh, all of these are electronic so all you do is push a button, I'll show you in a second, and this will go ahead and automatically open up the dome for us. Right next to us, the fourth astronomy shed is manual. You have to pull a chain, it's on a chain pulley system. And that will go ahead and automatic, or that will go ahead and open it that way from the chain pulley system. So on the Astro Haven here, you just have a little remote control, push the button, and it will automatically go ahead and start to open up the dome for you. Now, as we walk up the steps here, one thing to keep in mind is that these domes are not handicapped accessible uh, whatsoever. As if you come up and follow me on the steps here, the only way to get inside of the dome is by walking up this platform and then once I get up this platform there is a ladder that you can put here that is literally on a 90 degree angle going down into the dome. The cool thing about the dome is uh, you reserve them through the state park on the state park's website for $25 a night with full 120 volt electricity inside and as you can see all my stuff was already in here. I am the only one with the key to the dome. So 
you want to come in and get everything set up during the daytime and then come back up at night again, you can fully keep all of your equipment, whatever you want, inside of the dome and it will be secured with the key that you're the only one that has access to. Uh, it is at your own risk, so just keep in mind that you're keeping everything in here, agreeing that uh, you're responsible for everything. So if you want to get a pan shot, this will be the, the full uh, observation field here where they have the Cherry Spring Star Party and the Black Star Star Party in, uh, around June. And we're the only ones here right now. So hopefully tonight is night three. We saw a little bit of sky around 3 a.m. last night and hopefully we'll have a little bit of better luck tonight.